Welcome back, welcome back to the Realist Channel on YouTube. Um, we all have seen the news. Hasim Ratman Jr. versus Jake Paul has been cancelled, and the reasons have been down to Hasim Ratman managing to make the fight limit in a healthy manner. I don't know about all this. I'm gonna watch the clips now. Um, I see Hasim posted a Twitter video. Jake has also posted an Insta video. My first minds before watching these clips are that Hasim Ratman has no excuse. He agreed to fight at 200 pounds and you knew from the beginning you were gonna fight at 200 pounds. But let's get into the clips. Let me go ahead and kill all this internet cat Jake Paul got going on for y'all. Look, I'm, I'm a bridge away. I campaign at bridge away. Uh, or no, I, I wanna stop that right there. I'm gonna pause the clip right there. 11 seconds in. He's saying that he campaigns at bridge away this is probably true due to the, the the pounds that he weighs for his fights but bridger weight is a newly introduced weight no one is walking around saying that they campaign at bridger weight i believe bridger weight is only recognized by one governing body which is the wbc um yes it's a new weight that has been introduced but very recently anyone that weighs over 201 has been classed as a heavyweight for a long time Right, so him saying that he campaigns at Bridgeweight is true, I guess, in terms of metrics. But when he has his fights, they have all been at heavyweight. Okay, Deontay Wilder weighs Bridgeweight sometimes. I'm sure in his in his heavyweight campaign and throughout his career, he may have been within the Bridgeweight limits. But he is heavyweight. Okay, so him already saying bridgeway is kind of like a i'm gonna use a technical term to prove that i'm not a cruiserweight but anyway we'll go back in heavyweight uh, outside of the wbc now look um I, I signed a contract to make 200 pounds to be fair he did say heavyweight outside of the wbc so maybe i uh i jumped the gun but still there was no need to mention that you campaign at bridge away. The the three or three and a half weeks that I had to do it, but I couldn't do it. I sent my body simply would not let me do it, would not let me get down to 200 pounds. But where in boxing do y'all see them canceling fights a whole week in advance? I didn't even get my last week to get down as low as I could. Um, I told this man, it's, it's penalties involved, keep the purse, keep the purse. I fight you for the, for the $5,000 minimum. That's how, that's how much it means to me, and that's how much faith I have in knocking him out. I would have beat this man uh, 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 with, with, with one hand, just like I did in the gym. But let him tell it, he already beat my ass in the gym when I was 230. So if you beat me up while I was 230, what's the problem in fighting me while I'm 215? Valid point. Valid point. As you know, we come to the Realist channel, I give people their credit and when i agree with something i agree with it jake has said that he smoked him in sparring i'm pretty sure he wasn't fight weight in sparring i'm pretty sure he wasn't 200 pounds in sparring so if you did handle him how you said you handled him then you can handle him lighter even if it's not the uh, agreement if he was that confident that you you know you smoked him at a heavier weight uh, than what he's going to step in the ring at next week or he was going to then it shouldn't be so much of a um a big deal because you've you've claimed that you've already done it whilst he was heavier a lot of fighters do crash weight in the final week of a fight to make fight weight and we see it a lot in mma as well we see a lot of people crashing weight overnight because they drain their bodies it's not healthy it's not good for the fighters and the new york state athletic commission are obviously trying to avoid that um but you can see here he says i didn't even get my final week to lose weight with that being said, you were informed when you signed the agreement and the commission that you're working with, the requirements. You knew beforehand that, okay, they're on this losing weight healthy thing. So when so-and-so comes to check my weight a week before the fight, I better be within this limit because of, otherwise they're going to know I'm crashing weight off. So it's not like he's oblivious to the fact that the commission want him to lose the weight healthy and yeah he didn't and he said he physically couldn't but i find that interesting because he was talking at the press conference saying that the weight is fine and he's already on weight and all of these things so i don't know where things drastically went wrong what's the problem fighting me at 210 
it's 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 clearly uh uh, uh them not wanting to fight. It's not me pulling out the fight. It's them not wanting to fight. I never said that I didn't want this fight. And and the only thing that I can conclude is that they scared. I mean, they tried to drain me down. I told them, I, look, I ain't gonna be able to get all the way down to cruiserweight. I mean, it, it was it was a, a astronomical feat in and of itself from the beginning. From the beginning, when they called me to spar him for, for Anderson Silva, I told them where my weight was. They knew where my weight was, and they knew I was going to have to lose about a pound a day for 30 days in order to make 200 pounds. Yeah, we know. We know. We know. It's a lot of weight to lose. No one can argue with Hasim and say it's not a lot of weight to lose. But you knew this, though. Like, you signed the thing. Like, why didn't you sign the thing saying that we will fight at 210 then? Or two or five, do you know what I mean? I ain't, I haven't seen what Jake has to say about it, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna be saying something similar to me. Um, but yeah, you you sign the thing if you knew it was gonna be hard to make, then you just don't sign it in the first place because now, as much as you say whatever you're saying, the people are gonna be on you because you ruined the event. Wasn't able to make the weight. They knew that we had a replacement on the side the whole time. He's been doing everything I've been doing this whole camp. The Muslim boxer, Muslim casing. Hmm who campaigns at Cruiserweight, who wouldn't have to have drained himself, who could have saved the show. And Jake Paul could have fought a real boxer, but he don't want to fight a real fighter. He don't want to fight a real fight. Musin, shout out to Musin. Musin does campaign at Cruiserweight, someone that I've done a lot of rounds with whilst I was out in Vegas, training at the Mayweather gym. You know, good fighter, and he would have been a good replacement um, for Jake. However, that is not who Jake agreed to fight. And then, and seven days before the fight, if the fight's not happening and it's not his fault, then he doesn't have to fight a replacement, someone that he hasn't had camp for and prepared for. It would be nice for us because we'd still get a spectacle and we'd still see the sh a show go ahead. But from a fighter's perspective and from someone who prepares diligently in camp for an individual and preparing for what you're preparing for, I shouldn't have to say, yeah, fine, I'm just going to fight this guy instead. Uh, but Musin's a good fighter and I'm sure that's someone Jake would want to have a proper a full training camp for and tailored tailored to um, so he can give himself the best possible opportunity and that's what Jake does and that's what he should do boxing's a selfish game boxing is not a game that looks out for you because you looked out for the sport you got to look out for yourself and he wants to give himself the best possible opportunity to win, hence why the weight was set at what it was set at. And Hasim should have known that from the jump and not signed to fight Jake at that weight, knowing that it gives Jake the best possible opportunity and it doesn't give him the best possible opportunity. We don't want to hear a week before that you've realized that and then try and say, oh, it's because he doesn't want the smoke. I don't think it, I don't think it makes sense in it personally. But let's get into part two of the clip. He don't want to fight a real fight. He wanted to drain me down and, and, and fight a shell of me, which I'm not going to allow him to do. Now, they didn't they didn't move the goalposts and uh, move the finish line closer and have me weigh in all these extra days early and, 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 and then pull a plug on the fight like, like we don't want to fight. My team's 100%. Still wanted to fight, still ready, willing, and, and, and able to, to knock out Jake Paul on August 6th. So, y'all blame your boy Jake Paul for this fight not happening. No, 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 no. 38 seconds into the clip, we're not blaming Jake Paul. We're not. Because he gave you the agreement and he done his side. I'm pretty sure he weighs... What he needs to weigh the 200 pound limit because this guy campaigns at 190 most of the time anyway so he's probably gassed he could eat a bit more and whatnot this is not his fault this is hasim's fault because he's clocking too late oh they want to boil me down they want me to be a show of myself you should have been known that from you read the contract and it said 200 you should have been oh 200 trying to make me a show of myself can i do it or can i not no i can't do it so let's make it 210 that should have been done from the jump and then especially when you're having press conferences and you're talking about how weight was fine and stuff, it's just very contradicting to release a video like this the week before saying that it was physically impossible for you to do it. So he was basically just chatting at the press conference to make it seem like everything is okay. And it wasn't. With me or my team, we let them know what the real was and Jake Paul scared to, to, to make the fight. 
All he got to do is say, okay, I beat you up at 2.30. I beat you up at 2.15. I'm still coming down and wait. Or, or I beat you up at 2.10. I'm still, I'm still coming down and wait. But he don't want to do it because he don't want a real competitive fight. He wanted me to be a, 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 a shell of myself when we got in there and got in that ring. Hasim can have a point in saying that Jake doesn't want to fight because he, if he beat me up at 2.30 in sparring and I'm weighing less now, he should fight me anyway. Yeah, that's fair. But that wasn't the agreement. That wasn't the agreement. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. And I feel like that's the approach Jake's taken. He realizes what he's bringing to the table. He realizes that, you know, this is big money, big, big fight, big main event, Madison Square Garden because of me. So he feels like he's done his part and Hasim should do his part, which he actually signed and agreed to do. But yeah, you can say, oh, why don't you just fight him anyway, since he said he banged him up heavier. But it weren't the agreement. It wasn't the agreement. So it is what it is. But yeah, I don't know. I'd say it's Hasim's fault that the fight's not going ahead because he didn't lose the weight properly and he was fully aware that jake's on him about weight and he's going to be on his case about it so why is it that when you're doing the check weight you're still weighing over what the commission would expect you to it's not behavior of someone that wants the fight to go ahead even though he said he physically couldn't i am devastated i cannot fucking believe this we just found out this news and this is just another case of a professional boxer, just like Tommy Fury, being scared to fight me. It's as clear as day that these guys have been so unprofessional to work with, looking for any excuse to suck more money out of this event, to, to coerce us into doing things. And from the jump, I knew in the bottom of my heart that this guy didn't want to get into the ring with me. It's as clear as day. Here's what happened, long story short. So he signed a contract to fight me at 200 pounds and was gonna cut the weight down to 200 pounds. This is not a big cut for him, right? He's a big guy with a ton of weight to lose. So he sent a video into the commission the first time he weighed in at 216 pounds. The commission wanted to track his weight cut to make sure he was doing it in a healthy way. Three weeks later, the commission asked him for an update on his weight. He sends a video weighing 215 pounds, meaning... They checked his weight initially, he was 216. They come back three weeks later to check his weight and he's 215. One pound. One pound. Obviously, we don't know if this is all facts. I always like to say that because I know, you know, you're going to make a video in favor of yourself. He's going to make a video in favor of himself. It's all about protecting what you look like. Yeah, 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 yeah we get it. But the fight's not going ahead because of weight issues. So I'm more inclined to believe what Jake is saying because I know he wanted the fight to go ahead because it affects him more than it affects us, to be honest. But if that is true, that his first weigh-in was 216. Then he weighed 215 three weeks later. That is not the behavior of somebody who is trying to lose weight with a commission that's on your case to make a fight happen. It's quite simple. So the commission was like, hey man, you're not cutting the weight properly. We don't want you to lose it all in the last day. We're gonna have to change this fight to 205 pounds. My team calls me up, okay. they're like, hey man, do you wanna change? 205, fair, that's fair, five pounds more. They're saying that's a healthy weight cut, 10 pounds, which is what? Five and a bit kilos. Yeah, five kilos, 2.2 pounds in a kilo. So, yeah. They want to change the weight to 205 pounds. That's a big difference. You normally fight at 190 Six pounds. Kilos. Do you want to do the fight still? I said, no problem. Let's do it. 205 pounds. He's going to have, he already has a weight advantage, height advantage, reach advantage, all of these things, but whatever. I know I can still beat his ass at 205 pounds. And. That was that. We move forward. And then today, out of nowhere, his team calls and says, Hasim's not going lower than 215 pounds. If the fight's not at 215 pounds, then we're pulling out. My manager goes, fuck you guys. You're not in control of this. We already agreed to five more pounds. Yeah. He is a big guy, losing 10 pounds. Everyone knows in the sport of boxing that is an easy weight cut. People do that. UFC champions cut 25 pounds overnight to make weight. A 10 pound weight cut for a heavyweight is nothing. This is clearly an excuse. I did see, I said that, Jake would be saying some of the sh shit that I'm saying. Um, 10 pounds is not a big weight cut. It's not a big weight cut. Many people do it. And if it's a thing that you want to do, you'll do it. Um, well, it's the end of the clip anyway, pretty much. But yeah, you can lose weight, man. 
you can lose weight and if the commission are on your case and you know they're tracking you then you gotta move according to that i think the most that i've lost in a day is probably seven pounds probably seven pounds which is about four four kilos when i fought on the manny pacquiao on the card i wasn't even going to be on the show and um my manager at the time amir abdullah he managed to find an opponent last minute he stayed up all night searching searching found an opponent and he said to me can you make the weight and i went to sleep in my tracksuit turned the ac up high i'm not saying that this is healthy but i'm saying it's it can be done and i made the weight this guy has had notice knows the commissions on his case they said we're going to track you and he still hasn't made the weight so i don't really see the excuses um it's unfortunate for the other fighters on the show as well people forget these are not the only two fighters on the card there is a whole uh show there's there's tons of fighters that have been cutting weight to make weight for their fights they've been training hard and been sacrificed and they've been looking forward to this massive opportunity for their careers and that has now been taken from them as well so it is unfortunate we are not happy to hear it i think the only person that will be gassed to hear this news waking up this morning is jj because he can yeah literally just laugh at him and then go ahead and have his fight on august 27th anyway against wasabi but yeah disappointing news um very disappointing news and i think it is negligence from rackman's side that he didn't lose the right amount of weight like and subscribe make sure you head to myprotein.com always discounts on there using vidal on checkout i will be back with more reactions thank you for the love that's being shown on the channel um and we will be back if you don't know what i do at the end of videos it is the end of the video Boom. too cool for the rules baby get off of me never need no push i do it all for me keep a couple real hitters got them on call for me money moving got it in the market where it ought to be too true for the flex baby don't